Moving on now, and Australia's biggest technology fair is wrapping up in Sydney tonight. Hundreds of exhibitors demonstrated the latest gadgets and business solutions, some of which are changing lives. It's a technology wonderland showcasing Australia's innovative brains and gadgets. Everything from drones to robots to luxury cars and the not so luxury ones. This solar car, built by 50 University of New South Wales students, has already won some racing competitions but they've set a new challenge. We're trying to become the first road legal solar sports car anywhere in the southern hemisphere. It's going to take some work outside and in. Trying to make it appealing. So when people hop inside this car they actually think, wow, this is a really nice car and I actually want to be inside there. They're using some unconventional methods, 3D printers, to make the dashboard. Coating them up and finishing them up and it will look just as good as a professional car when we're done. 3D printing technology is also changing the health space. And we're actually seeing a situation now where parents are buying cheap sort of $1,000 3D printers and printing their children's own prosthetics at home. Making it a lucrative business. In the you know pre-3D printing days you would have taken maybe 6-12 months to go from an idea through the traditional manufacturing techniques to actually get to market. Now that process can happen with maybe $2,000 and three to four weeks. It's a success story. Startup entrepreneur Brendan Ryan is also hoping to write. He's gauging interest for his family finances assistance web service, which keeps on top of the changing regulations. It's great to be in an area with other startups. You know, it's fascinating what, what people are doing. This is one of the Southern Hemisphere's biggest tech fairs, with around 400 exhibitors, 90 of them startups, attracting visitors from 16 different countries. Organisers say innovation is critical to economic success. Everybody accepts that we're at that juncture where we're transitioning towards a knowledge economy. It's business for some, games for others. That's my name. To the Australian share market now, which continue to fall despite a jump in iron ore prices overnight. Resource stocks declined. Rio says demand from China for steel is still yet to peak. Woolies had another bad day. NAB entered a trading halt. Now, it posted a 5.4% rise in half-year cash earnings of $3.3 billion. But what investors didn't like was a $5.5 billion rights issue, which will be the largest rights issue in Australian history. So NAB shares in a trading halt today. In Japan, the Nikkei fell to a one-month low. Shares on Wall Street closed lower before Friday night's jobs report. The Australian dollar is still sitting comfortably in the 80 US cents. It's mixed across the other major global currencies and on the commodity markets, both gold and oil are weaker.